Hello everyone, Ryan here from iOS Mars. Uh, today I want to show you guys a quick demo of uh, Musics Pro as a MIDI controller. Um, you know, I think this is an awesome app, and the re whole reason I'm doing this video is, uh, j you know, just because um, I never he hear of anybody ever using this app, or I've never seen a video where somebody records anything using this app as a MIDI controller, but it is just awesome. And, uh, you know, when I first saw it here, let me switch over to it. Um, when I first saw it, I was immediately like, what the hell is this? Uh, why, why would anyone ever need this? What, how could it possibly be useful? But, um, you know, almost immediately, like, I went ahead and bought it anyways because it was highly recommended to me by uh, someone I, you know, I really trust. Um, so they recommended it to me, and I went ahead and bought it, and then I was instantly, uh, opinion changed as soon as I got it. You know, don't, don't look at this app as, you know, it's all colorful and stupid looking because uh, it it's really, really useful. So um, today I'm going to show you, you know, just as a MIDI controller, I'm going to use iGrand at first here, and then I'll use uh, Propeller Heads Thor afterwards. So, um, you know, there's we got this little cogwheel in the corner here that brings down the options, and I'll just quickly go through what the options do here. So, um, obviously, stars like our favorite saved layouts. Um, these are the these are the preset ones that come with it here. Um, we you know we have a lot of stuff. I'm not going to go into it too much, but um, we can go through our southwestern interval here, and this is going to be how we change um, the layout of uh, of our uh, hexagons here. Or you know, let me drop down to uh, one of the other options first before I go into that. So go down here, um, you know, where we can change. Um, we can change to square, we can change to rectangles, um, so it, we're not just limited to hexagons, but hexagons are really good, and I really like how this works, so it's what I use. Um, we get some uh, different, uh, different settings here for the color scheme. Um, you know, it's not too important. Um, the default one is my favorite, just because... Uh, our scales are clearly indicated with this one, you know, where our scale is in E, so E is green, all of our corresponding scale keys are blue, and, um, you, you know, the out-of-key out of ones are all uh, black, so really easy. You know, we can go ahead and, and disable these ones here as well, so you can't actually hit them or ever play a wrong note, you know, which is really nice, you know, using this for a live performance of any kind because you can't really make that that mistake that you didn't want to make when you're trying to quickly do a solo or something like that. Um, one other thing I'll show you is obviously you can see these little arrows with fingerprints on them. Uh, you just obviously touch that and as soon as you touch it you can drag around um, whoops, you can drag around uh, the scale here uh, sorry your your playing surface here so you can get to the area you want to get to um, all the notes are clearly indicated uh, what key they are and everything so really really easy um, this is where we set up our MIDI um, it's got some internal sounds as well but you, you know I, I think they're pretty weak personally and uh, I wouldn't recommend even bother using them. I'm not going to show them to you because uh, there's not much point. You know, it's pretty obvious that these guys have created this as a MIDI controller, and they just threw these sounds in so that people, when people purchase it not knowing really what it does, they won't be instantly disappointed because there's no sound, and they'll have to figure out a bunch of other stuff. So it comes with some internal sounds, but, uh, you know, not not that great. So let me pop into my MIDI options here, um, where you can see we're sending to iGrand. Uh, we can click these and, and block and change between our apps this way and everything. So I'm going to just use iGrand at first here. And uh, let me pop back into the, the options here and I'll start uh, to mess with this a little bit. So Southwestern Interval, we can do plus or minus to change uh, the directions of how everything's laid out. We can change, um, you know, the what what's going to be displayed here and in what order and everything. So you know, tons and tons of options of how we're gonna 
we can do this. So you can you can find something that works for you um, really easily. We got the second uh, interval here as well, where we can change things again. That one's a little bit weird. It's all the same. It's all the same one. <laughs> But anyways, if you did find something that you really, really enjoy, then you can uh, you can go ahead and uh, save it. Just click this, and uh, you can save it as whatever. There we go. That's our new thing. So I'll go back to my you know my regular my regular one that I like, and I'll show you a little bit of what this can do and what's the whole point of this app. Let me hide this audio bus panel for right now. Um, you know, with iGrand, we're not going to get anything above uh, above E6 or below E2, so we can we can arrange this a little bit. So, so um, what's the point? <laughs> um, basically, one of the greatest things about this is if you're going to be doing any kind of chord work at all, um, you find your finger position that you want for your chord. Let's say it's this which is a, a power chord, as it were. And wherever we place our fingers, anywhere that we place them, it's always going to be the exact same chord. So, because of that, we can also um, do our scaling, um, you know, with, with solos or whatever we're going to do. Um, the same way where we can As you can see, super, super easy to, to make up quick songs, and uh, I find this a lot easier than a, a keyboard. You know, I'm a guitarist, so I'm always looking for something different than a keyboard because I, I struggle a lot with uh, playing a standard uh, keyboard of any kind. So, new interfaces, great stuff here. So, um, I really like this, and uh, you know, there's a lot of different, uh, different uh, things we can, we can set here. pop over to Thor because you know Thor covers more of a uh, the whole uh, spectrum of sounds rather than uh, than us cutting out every time we go above uh, above um, the sixth octave there so well actually I don't even need to switch over anything I'll just go into my MIDI options here and we'll unblock unblock one and block the other and we should be in business We can still hear the the eye grant. We should not be hearing that. Let's turn this uh, send to all listening apps off. There we go. I'm gonna switch back to my uh, my preset. again. There we go. Yeah, 
I must save those uh, per preset as well. switch over to uh, a different preset here. Let's go to the very first preset. We'll try that one. So, you know, there's a few more things we can do here, um, you know, besides uh, we can make our, our notes overlap, you know, quite a bit. I, uh, I actually like it to be just, uh, to just be standard. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, all I wanted to show you about this. Um, you know, I think this is a great app, and I just wish uh, more people would use it and it would get a little bit more recognition. So, yeah, that's why I've made this video. So, um, anyways, pop on to iosmars.com and uh, check out, uh, you know, underneath the video where I always put the, the link to the store. Check, out, check this out on the store. I think you should definitely pick it up. I don't think anybody that makes music, uh, you know, sending MIDI, uh, should should uh, be without this app, you know. Great MIDI controller, in uh, my opinion, um, especially for live performances. So, all right, that's all I wanted to show you guys today. Um, yeah, I'll be back next time with a, uh, maybe a little bit more of Thor. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.